Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the second half of May, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Capricorn, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment on below. If you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay. Now, coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Okay? So, just give me a couple of minutes, rather a couple of seconds, so I'll complete the shuffling part. Capricorn, what do you need to know for the month of May? Capricorn, what do you need to know for the month of May? What do you need to know for the month of May? Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and then we have Three of Pentacles. Okay, as far as your person is concerned, we have Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, and then we have Page of Wands. Okay. A lot of wand cards, you might be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, you might be dealing with Gemini, Libra, you might be dealing with Pisces, uh, Aquarius, you might be dealing with Taurus, if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Number 8 is of some importance, number 3 is of some importance, you might be seeing a lot of 888, a lot of 333. All right. Hmm. So Capricorn, what you need to know for the second half of May. At the bottom of the deck, we have Magician. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and Three of Cups. I see that some unexpected news is coming towards you and uh, you might not be prepared for this news okay and because of the fact that you are not prepared for this news you might consider this news as disappointing but the nature of that news is uh, the original nature of that news is not actually disappointing just the fact that you are not prepared for something coming towards you it you might kind of feel that this this is a slightly dis a disappointing thing that you are hearing or you you are you are getting to know ten of swords is also indicating a major cycle is coming to an end or it has already ended capricorn a difficult cycle a cycle where there was a lot of struggle, a cycle where unexpected things kept on happening, a cycle where, which disrupted a lot of things in your life, something that was set in your life, a routine was set or a business was set, it, it got disrupted during this uh, cycle, okay? So you experience a lot of highs and a lot of lows in your life during this cycle. So that major cycle has come to an end okay that cycle was absolutely disruptive you have also experienced loss of people during this cycle uh, loss of relationships loss of situations like you might have lost even uh, you might have even lost a job but as you started coming towards the end of the cycle you started noticing that actually losing one thing is pushing you towards gaining something new and whatever this new you are gaining in your life it is bigger and better and uh, you know uh, pushing yourself to to become a better version of uh, to become a better version so even though say for example you have lost a job 
in the past cycle it kind of pushed you to become to start something of your own you became an entrepreneur and you're realizing that you're having a lot more time flexibility you're having a lot more uh, uh, um, you know uh, flexibility time flexibility you you're doing things on your own you're you are your own boss so it kind of feels that uh, life is looking much better as compared to the past say for example whatever you you were doing in the job it wasn't bad but it wasn't even satisfying and as well, whatever you're doing right now it is much more satisfying uh, whether it is job or whether it is something of your own it is much more satisfying and it is uh, you are definitely in a better position as far as money is concerned as far as satisfaction is concerned so even though the past cycle was disruptive at the end of that cycle you have kind of realized that whatever you lost has actually led you to uh, find someone something better or someone better uh, maybe you have lost a relationship in the past okay and it kind of pushed you towards doing some self introspection spending some time with yourself and then finding a better person for yourself so uh, you have definitely ended a major cycle you're about, you have started or you're about to begin a new cycle and this new cycle is coming with a lot of promising situations and promising people in your life okay there is a lot of stability especially when it comes to career if you were experiencing a lot of fluctuations in your career a lot of inconsistency a lot of uh, uh, lot of highs and lot of lows if if this was a kind of a situation in your career that is that will go away and you will experience lot of stability you will experience consistency i also see that you will be supported by your near and dear ones in whatever endeavors you will be pursuing whether it is career whether it is pro, uh, any kind of a project whether it is change of job change of location you will be always supported by your near and dear ones and this support will act as an encouragement for you to do something better in your life and i also see that there is a new romantic interest that is coming towards you and this this interest is also looking very promising it has a potential to go long term even though this might start off as a friendship but this connection has a strong potential to go long term this connection has a strong potential to grow and to to grow into a solid romantic partnership as far as your person is concerned yeah with the magician you are definitely manifesting uh, things that are not there in your life right now so say for example if you don't have love you're manifesting love if you're not happy with your monetary situation you're manifesting money if you're not happy with the success in your career you're manifesting that if you're not happy with your personality growth you're manifesting that so with the magician card i feel that you are manifesting what you don't have right now and you will get that because with the magician magician card is a very powerful card so it is also kind of a reminder capricorn that do not underestimate yourself you have amazing powers amazing manifestation powers within yourself utilize that for your own benefit as far as your person is concerned we have eight of pentacles king of wands page of wands so uh eight of pentacles is signifying that someone very hard working is whoever is coming towards you this person is very hard working they are passionate about every single thing in their life they are passionate about the success that they have experienced they are passionate about working hard towards achieving the goals they are passionate about their own life they are passionate about progressing and growing in their life they are passionate about lot of other things okay so that's what i see over here whoever is coming towards you this person looks like they are very mature they are they are an awakened soul in fact i'll say that they are much more mature and much more awakened than you are this person after meeting you they will recognize that there is something that you need to heal or there is something that you need to address within yourself and that is why this person will not start this connection right away as a romantic partner this will start off as a friendship 
uh, this will start off as a work related connection first okay and then eventually slowly and gradually once this person will realize that you are getting ready for a romantic situation then this person will take a strong leap of faith towards you okay this person will know you very well and this person is someone who will be who will carry you a lot and that aspect of this connection will make you so happy that i have finally found someone who will care me maybe you haven't experienced much love and care from uh, your near and dear ones while growing up okay there was a lack of compassion there was a lack of care from your parents probably okay and that had all the lack of compassion and care always created a void within you while growing up okay and you you got into a wrong relationships because you wanted to fill up that void which was there within you since childhood and it, there was a slight desperation to experience that care and compassion okay and that's why you also ended up selecting wrong people you thought like oh this person is getting attracted towards me it means this person is capable of filling up the void that i have within me okay and over a period of time you kind of realize that someone else is not responsible for the void that i have in my life and i am responsible to fill up that void and now you have started working towards filling up that void so when i say filling up that void what do i mean is you're simply trying to fill up your own cup you're simply trying to make yourself happy you are simply realizing that someone else is not responsible for my happiness i'm responsible for my happiness and maybe this person will also instill the confidence that you have lost in yourself okay uh they will also kind of make you realize a lot of things which will which will be uh which will encourage you and motivate you to better in your to do better in your life okay I see that you will be thanking God for sending this person in your life. There is a lot of excitement that will come along with this person, and there will be a lot of excitement and fun in this relationship. Your health will improve. You will start glowing after meeting this person. You will start glowing. There will be a lot of shine and there will be a lot of glow on your skin. You will observe that. Uh, you will observe those changes. Once you meet this person, you will start noticing internal changes within you. and that is that is one of the that will be one of the biggest signs that this person is the one for you okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section and extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care and bye, -bye.